what's up guys welcome back once again it is me Malt so happy to be here with you guys y'all are probably looking at the screen like Malt seriously dude <laughs> another freaking base and uh yeah another freaking base I know first of all I'm exhausted right now my eyes are puffy because I literally rolled out of bed 10 minutes ago um but I gotta make a video for you guys so I'm knocking this out we're gonna go over this new base that I'm doing and you guys might be wondering wait he's pushing well some of y'all might be wondering He's pushing, but his town hall is outside. Yes, that is true. Um, and a lot of y'all told me to do that. And after thinking about it and, and kind of looking at experience and whatnot, it actually is smart once you get up higher to throw your town hall outside because you're going to get other people like town hall sevens and whatnot that are pushing who can't three star you and they're just going to take it. They're going to snag it real quick. So if you are trophy pushing, the way that you should do it is have your town hall outside um, protect your dark elixir like me because I'm still trying to upgrade that or you can throw your clan castle in the middle whatever you want to do uh, my clan castle is on the outside because my clan isn't really that active uh, but if yours is active throw it in uh, to the middle where that dark elixir is and then throw one of your storages out um, as well but the thing that you got to do is you got to be like alright I'm gonna raid for about two hours here and um, I'm gonna my town hall is outside so I'm gonna get attacked I'm gonna lose nine ten trophies whatever it may be max normally you only lose like I don't know four to five maybe six depending on who attacks you um, so you'll lose those and then you'll gain 120 or 150 in your push and then you'll lose 10 again and then the next day you'll do the same thing so that's what I'm doing it's been working really really well uh, we are at uh, what is our ah, shoot we're, we're almost a crystal two um, but I've got the uh, the base built up over here on Clash of Clans Builder .com, guys. Definitely make sure that y'all check them out. It is ridiculous how much easier it is to build a base on there and then apply it to uh, your game itself. So let's go ahead and jump into this. And I will uh, obviously we're protecting the Dark Elixir, right? Yeah, that's in the middle. That's what we need to upgrade. Still, we got to get our hogs up, our golems, our Valkyries. Yeah, I'm not really too sure about them, um, but. We'll start off by uh, protecting our loot because that is one thing that we definitely want to protect, especially our gold because we do still have some stuff to upgrade. So we'll go ahead and throw some of our gold in right here. And you guys can see these traps going through this area. It's going to be sick. People are going to, uh, if I get attacked by ground troops, they're going to patrol around this dark elixir like nobody's business um, because it's behind two sets of walls and they're not going to go after it. So if I get attacked by ground troops, especially low level ground troops, um, I'm gonna be good to go. I'm definitely gonna be good to go, and I'm not worried about that at all. Let's go ahead and throw in our uh, mortars as well. <clears throat> um, and we have those. They're fairly close together, but um, it's because with how close they are right here, guys, they're gonna do a really, really good job of protecting our dark elixir for us. Um, so let's go ahead and bring in our other two wizard towers as well. We're gonna knock one out right here, one out right here. Our dark elixir has so much splash damage surrounding it. That it is ridiculous and it's going to help us so, 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 so very much. Um, we'll go ahead and bring in our archer towers. We're going to throw those on the outside. Um, one of our air defenses is a little bit exposed. This one right here. I'm okay with it though because we do have two archer towers up there. Um, as well as this Tesla right here. Um, and our wizard tower. So it shouldn't be too bad. And we also have an archer tower right uh, here as well so whenever you have exposed air defenses or your air defenses just don't fit deep within the base then just put them around uh, archer towers and it should help protect them a little bit more all right uh, and then we'll go ahead and bring in our other two air defenses right here and right here we're gonna throw our king in the middle he's gonna wreak some havoc to people that try and attack us right there and we're going to throw these and these right there as well and then we've got a archer tower right here to protect our air defense like you guys always hear me say protect your air defenses with archer towers just because uh, it makes them so much safer now we're gonna bring in two cannons over here we're going through this quick because it's uh I don't know it's pretty easy it's not that hard of a base to work with um, go ahead and bring these in as well but as you guys can see it's looking pretty good I love the look of this thing uh, right now like I said my clan castle is on the outside uh, if you're in a clan where you don't get donated troops daily or whatever, then it should be further away from the center, if you know what I'm saying. So, so make sure that you guys work with that and you'll be good to go. Uh, we do have these uh, these archer towers out in this area, but that's fine because a lot of times, guys, y'all can protect buildings with other buildings. So like right here, 
my air defense is being protected by uh, this Dark Elixir drill because there's some uh, hit points in front of my air defense that need to be taken out. So if somebody comes at me with minions right there, then uh, the minions are going to focus on that Dark Elixir drill and the air defense is going to take them out. If somebody comes at me with loons from the bottom, they're going to be in a lot of trouble because this is very, very exposed. This is exposed. And then they may even head from here, either over here or over here. So my air defenses are going to have a long time to shoot down any sort of air troop that comes in from the bottom or really any angle of the base because you got one, two, three right here. One, two, three, four. You got all this kind of stuff that's just going to really, really mess up any kind of air troops that come into the base. Uh, let's go ahead and just continue throwing some of our buildings around. You guys know what I always say to do. We're going to make somebody think there are giant bombs there by scooting those out. <laughs> We're going to be tricksy. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring in our army camps right here and right uh, here and here. Why does that look different? Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is going on? And then we'll go ahead and bring in our laboratory right there. And then we'll throw in a gold mine. We'll just put two gold mines up there for fun. And then you guys know what I always say. So you do loot and then regular building, loot, regular building. So we've got uh, elixir, dark, and then gold, and then this, and then that, and that, blah, 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 all the way around. So we'll go ahead and do that on this side as well. One right there, one right here. <clears throat> one right here and one right there and then let's go ahead and do our other builders huts right there I know I don't have my fifth builders hut guys it's pretty crazy um, but I've never gymmed anything on this base so that's why I haven't gymmed it even though I do have gyms those are only for boosting barracks so that I can uh, make like sit down and, and make good videos for you guys and get a good amount of raids and where where does that go oh, okay right there right there and then we're almost done here we can go ahead and just throw our laboratory right over here and throw this right over here guys and we will save that okay yep yep let's head home and as you guys can see you saw where all the traps were so the reason for my trap placement so we have these right here if anybody comes in from the top they're going to get sprung, and then they're going to get a lot of damage as they walk through here. They're going to be getting wizard tower damage, and they're going to be getting those bombs. So then they're going to go from right here. They're either going to go here or here, but what they're actually probably going to do is head this direction because of our skeleton trap. So those are placed there right next to the bomb to try and pull troops into the bomb. you got to use your skeleton traps wisely because if you put them in an area where they're close to something that deals damage, whether it's a trap or... A wizard tower or whatever it may be if you put them there it's going to pull the attacking troops towards that so you got to pay attention to that as well and then down here we've got this little area with a whole bunch of traps that if anybody comes in they're just going to get absolutely torn up um by those so uh yeah the get the base is working well so far obviously all is being is town hall sniped at this point uh but i will let you guys know once it gets a legitimate attack and a legitimate defense but we need thirty thousand dark elixir to uh, upgrade our hog so we are going to be grinding out some dark elixir and i hope that you guys are ready for that but that's going to be it for this base build uh this should be the last one for the while unless it just completely sucks but i think that it'll hold up pretty well and we're going to be pushing guys we're going to be pushing up to masters uh and see where we can go from there uh so yeah thank you so much for watching guys really do appreciate it make sure you guys hit that like button for me if you did enjoy and as always keep calm and clash on them right i'll see you guys later peace